Hi, this is Drew at Finale Fireworks. In this video, I'm going to cover the highlights for the latest version of Finale 3D. See the full release notes and download the latest version by visiting the downloads page on finale3d.com. Now, here's what we've been up to since our last major release. Whether you run Finale 3D on a single screen or a multi-monitor setup, the window sizes and positions are now restored automatically to their previous positions each time you relaunch the software. The layouts of individual table windows like the script window and effects window are also automatically restored. Offline FDB effect files are now reloaded automatically, eliminating the need to manually open them each time you launch Finale 3D. We streamlined the window menu and added three slots for custom window arrangements, which you can save using the menu option provided. This is especially useful when you rely on different window arrangements in different phases of your design process. In the effects menu, we've added slots for custom window layouts along with keyboard shortcuts, making it seamless to switch between layouts or collections in the effects window. In the file menu, We've added a feature to save the current show as the startup template. This allows you to replace the default blank show with a show configured to your exact needs. We also added a submenu that allows you to create a new show from your startup template without needing to restart Finale 3D. Last but not least in the file menu, we've relocated both the Finale inventory menu items and the options for loading and saving effect files to this location. Next, we took a dive into the scripting workflow and made improvements to help prevent items from becoming hidden. This happens when a position name in the script doesn't match a position in the show. The result is that items disappear from the 3D design window and take the form of little brown lollipops at the bottom of the timeline. As an improvement, now if you change the position assignment in your script, or change the name of a position in the positions window, Finale 3D will alert you of a mismatch and help you correct the position names automatically. In the Positions menu, we've also added an item to help you identify events in the script that don't match existing positions. For the next set of improvements, we made it easier to work with events in the timeline through the addition of new user settings that allow you to set how the timeline scrolls during playback and editing, and how the timeline responds when an event is selected in the script window. Next, we made the Add Racks dialog more intuitive. With numerous layout improvements and helpful explanations for various situations, such as when effects fit into another rack that is already selected. For complex scenarios using rack type, an error message is now displayed that provides situation-specific detail to help you fix the problem. Switching gears, we overhauled the process of creating breathtaking long exposure photographs with the addition of a new Create Photo dialog. The new dialog allows you to adjust all the parameters for your photo and see the results in the 3D design window in real time. A preview of the photo is displayed during rendering, and when rendering is complete, you can save the photo for use outside Finale 3D. To round out this new release, we made several improvements to copy and paste, including the functionality for copying and pasting between shows. In the Edit menu, we added a new Paste Special option to allow for copying multiple instances of the same models and positions. Last in this area, we added a new user setting that allows rail, pin, and rack addresses to be preserved when pasting events. Last but not least, we've added full support for two additional firing systems, the Fire Control G2 system and the Pyro Digi system. You can check out all the details on these systems by visiting the documentation section on finale3d.com. That's it for this highlights video. Thanks very much for watching. We hope you enjoy the latest version of Finale 3D. Be sure to check out all the other great videos on the Finale 3D YouTube channel. And if you'd like to be notified about new videos as they come out, be sure to subscribe.